Hey guys, welcome back to Thyroid and Roots with Charity. So today I'm gonna to give you guys an update on my week two weight loss journey to lose 35 pounds. And I am super excited about it because things have definitely changed this week for me. So I'm gonna get just straight into it. My trainer changed my macros as of last week. And so I was doing more of a carb cycling kind of situation, which was perfectly fine with me. Um, so some days I had 80 grams of carbs, some days I had 105 grams of carbs, and some days, like one day I had 185 grams of carbs. But my protein and my fat pretty much stay the same at 120 grams of protein, 130 grams of protein, depending on the day, and then 40 grams of fat. So it was a huge change for me because I have never done carb cycling before, but it wasn't really as bad as other people may think like, oh my God, I can't eat all the carbs. Now you can definitely eat carbs and I definitely ate carbs. I ate like a bagel, well half of a bagel, uh, oatmeal, potatoes, beans. Those are kind of like my staples anyway. So I just kept eating those, but I just had small portions of those. Um, but as far as the food, it was fine, I'm not really worried about it. As far as the activity, runs were much better this week. I think my legs are getting slightly stronger, which it should be, but I'm super excited about that because last week when I started lifting back over, I was sore for like three days. And then now that it's like week two is over, I have no more soreness. I don't know if that's just the BCAs or like the supplements that I told you guys I was taking last week or what, but I feel a lot better now that I will say. I still have some slight knee problems. Uh, well, not really a knee problem, it's just like the tendonitis for it. So I am doing physical training um, like twice a week, but it's nothing like too serious. They just said this is a common runner's thing. I just need to strengthen my knee. So I'm just strengthening my knee. So here is a clip of what I look like now so that you guys can kind of like see so I think like next week, I'm actually gonna try to get into vlogging. I wanna vlog my week of my workouts, kinda like uh, what I'm eating throughout the day and just my physical activity level so you guys can kinda see that instead of it just being an update. But yeah, and I'm also thinking about showing my first picture versus my current picture. Um, so that you guys can see that as well. So today I don't have any pictures, so I'm gonna start from here. But as you can see, this is what I look like from the front. This is what I look like from the side. And then this is what I look from the back. So I still got a long way to go, and that's perfectly fine because, you know, slow and steady wins the race. I'm not really in competition. The only person I'm in competition with is myself, but I am loving it thus far, and I will say that my starting weight was 185.6, and then last week I clocked at around 185 even, and then this week I was 181.8. So that's crazy to me because I definitely been, you know, because he also upped my activity level, my cardio level, so I had to burn like 300 calories of cardio three times a week. But I was pleasantly surprised how my body kind of like adjusted to the carbs, like the cycling for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, next week, hopefully I'll do a different type of style of a video. But the, your girl is losing weight and I'm excited about it. So I don't even know how small I'll be next week. Maybe two pounds down more. Uh, or maybe 1.5. It don't really matter. I still got until October, so I got a lot more time to lose some weight. But I'm loving that I'm staying consistent, and I'm happy with my results, and I'm happy just being active again because I feel like I have a sense of purpose. But anyways, I'm going to keep stop rambling, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see ya.